What's up, ever What's up, everyone? Um, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Brian Burks. I'm a filmmaker and photographer from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I own Cashmere Film and Photo. Um, we mostly shoot weddings. We just now been getting into uh, lifestyle, portrait, engagement, stuff like that. Um, we originally were nothing but film for about three years and I actually found a Mamiya 645 on eBay and it was about 500 bucks. Uh, excellent condition. Came with a 55 millimeter lens and a 110 millimeter lens. So I did pick that up as you can see in the video, uh, some of the video that I posted before. But this is the 645 1000S. And I have only been shooting with this for about a week now. And the first roll that I had, I completely botched it. Uh, I opened up the film back and just ruined the film. And then the second roll of film that I used, uh, just some things went wrong. And about half of the pictures turned out correct. And so I'm looking to experiment more with that. Um, but I did get my film objective uh, shipment today, and they didn't have a 645 on there, but they had an RB67, so I did rent that, and I got that today. I have not shot with this at all yet. Um, I just got some Portrait 400 loaded into it, though, and this is a lot, a lot bigger, as you can see, the size comparison. Um, I don't see this being like a walk around camera at all, uh, but we'll, we'll see, I, I don't know. Um, I am interested to see what the 6x7 looks like compared to the 6x4.5, but I have a maternity shoot tonight with a couple that we filmed for uh, a couple years ago. Uh, they reached out to us and wanted some maternity photos, and it's going to be mostly digital, but I am going to take both cameras and uh, do some test shots with that and um, I will check in with you later. All right, so we're gonna do uh, some rapid fire here. Um, this was a lake in the park. Um, this is taken with the RB67 in landscape mode. Um, I just really like the colors in this, and um, it actually turned out pretty well because I was able to open up to about F8 or so. Um, this was another shot by the lake. Um, it was just a little, this little shed. Had a little trouble getting focused with this just because the shed, I was trying to get it and focus on the shed, and it looked like I might have messed up a little bit. Um, this was the first shot of the couple. Um, good detail on this. This is with the 645. Um, turned out pretty sharp. Uh, I was pretty happy with this. This was uh, obviously Portrait 400, but I did convert it to black and white, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, with color, just slightly edited and. Uh, Lightroom. Really like the way that one turned out. Um, this was a little scene I set up in my kitchen. Um, another one where I like took time trying to get nail focus, and I think I actually shot wide open on this. And you can tell because the coffee and sugar in the background is 
definitely blurred out compared to the coffee scoop. And I was trying to get focus on the scoop and I think it turned out pretty well. Really like the way this shot turned out. This is another one of the couple in a seating area. Um, once again, converted to black and white. There's with color. Um, this is with the RB67, I believe. And I think it turned out pretty well. This was a mansion um, in the park as well. With, this is with the 67. Really like the way this one looked. Um, once again, it was lightly, lightly edited and added a bit of a contrast to it in Lightroom. That's pretty much it. Um, this was actually a mistake that I made. Um, not entirely sure what happened. Um, I know I really liked this shot um, at first, the, uh, the actual picture of Bryce, the, the mom. Um, it was with the 6-7. And I was really excited to see how this one turned out and then I noticed that I screwed up and it somehow gave a double exposure but after looking at it a little bit and editing it up it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, this was just a random shot of my room, really liked the way the, the shades were. And this was a barn during the, or right before the shoot, um, just like the way the Shadows were falling on the side of that, and it was really just a test shot with the RB67. Uh, I believe this was F11. Alright guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed that video. Um, it's definitely a lot different for me to be uh, using film compared to digital. Um, it's definitely a lot more time consuming. It took me about two hours to scan everything in, and I only got about 12 usable images out of that. Um, I've only been using the camera for about a week now, a week and a half, so I look forward to learning a lot more, putting a lot more time into this, and just learning as much as I can with film, and just, uh, if you're interested in following along with me, just go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you later.